thalassemia in itself does not cause any diseases or condition being a carrier is not a problem I'm Dr. Haris Abdul Rahman. I'm a consultant hematologist at Subang Jaya Medical Center. Here at Subang Jaya Medical Center, we offer a vast array of hematological services. And one of those services that probably not well known to the public is the screening for a condition of the blood called thalassemia. Thalassemia is something that is very common and about 5% of our population in Malaysia are carriers for this condition. However, if a couple were married to each other, they have a 1 in 4 chance to have an offspring that is actually a thalassemia major patient. We have two forms of thalassemia beta and alpha and this depends on the gene that are missing in them. Patient with alpha thalassemia misses the ability to produce alpha globulin while the beta thalassemia patient have deficiency or inability to uh, form beta globulins. Patient with alpha thalassemia major unfortunately often uh, do not actually live for too long as a baby while the beta thalassemia major patient can live but depends on monthly blood transfusion therefore it's important for us to establish whether we are carriers or not so that we can prepare ourselves to see whether there's potential for us to have offspring with thalassemia to prepare for us for the future once we establish ourselves as a carrier, we can then take the step to see whether our family members are also carriers so that they themselves can also be screened and prepare themselves for this. Here at SJMC, apart from establishing the diagnosis for thalassemia, we also offer a comprehensive care for you and your family member will help you through the journey of the diagnosis, the counselling and potential future care for you and your family. Thank you very much.